Okay, so uh, last time I did uh, draw orders of this uh, cowboy drawing from about 40, 43, 44 years ago that I did when uh, I was a young teenager in the early 70s. And I drew over it and arrived at this, which is uh, arguably a better drawing, which uh, it's still not a particularly interesting drawing. It's kind of generic, but uh, what did I do differently? Uh, here that I didn't know to do back then, or couldn't do back then. Well, um, hopefully, uh, like I mentioned before, this drawing has more coherence, more fluidity. A couple specific things I wanted to point out about this version uh, was uh, the angle of the eyes. I had them sort of point toward the face and uh, point toward the nose. Uh, you want to avoid making things too parallel, as in eyes that look like this. And a terrific animator named Dan Juke once taught me that if you can bring the eyes into sort of a V configuration, you get a much more appealing look, and I found that to be true. A um, couple of things that uh, uh, I didn't like even about this version, the hat is not that great. These uh, buckskin things are kind of don't read. Um, much like the original, uh, there's this, uh, which I'll call it for family viewing purposes, hot dog shape to the nose. And uh, it's it's kind of, it's got parallels. It's, it's at a right angle, which is not good. Uh, you, again, you want a diagonal, usually. And the top and bottom follow very similar, boring uh, contours. Uh, this area, is uh, also for the hair doing the same parallel thing. Parallels aren't strictly to be avoided because there's places where you want, you might want to do them for a rest or for repetition, but they're, they're, they're non-organic. So uh, I, I tried to solve that here on this version of the thing, but I still don't really like this nose and this hair or this hat. Uh, I, didn't, I forgot to finish off the ties on the chaps. So I did another pass over this guy and I came up with uh, this guy. Um, and a number of things I did here I was trying to enhance from the uh, previous drawing. And uh, I'll try to explain them. I simplified the chaps back so that the chaps and the boots are more or less balanced. Um, used a little bit better silhouette for the, the cowboy hat. Um, like I said, I, instead of having the nose point out and be one of these, I, I let it go point down a little bit so that it had a little bit more dynamic shape and angle. Uh, same to the hair, brought that together. Um, I wanted to get a little bit more definition in the figure. So he has a bold chest. This guy looks like a pretty good guy. Um, he's got a forthright uh, sweep of his spine. Still has the bow legs like the cowboy, maybe bigger hands. This is kind of a 1940s to 1960s style. Um, it's a little reminiscent of uh, the Asterix comic strip from France, which I was a big fan of. Which Asterix is a very 60s looking uh, comic strip, but is very 40s influenced. So I went over it again and I got this guy uh, using a little bit more graphic, slightly later styling. Um, and he's more ornery, he's got more attitude, and uh, I let this uh, pose lean forward. And I tried to follow the original idea, at least, of this pose, that his arm was crossing his chest to point at something or grab at something. And I arrived at that. Um, this is more graphic, it's got a heavier line. Generally, uh, the, more, the more heavy and more obvious the line is, the more graphic two-dimensional quality it has. Um, and I uh, tried to embrace that a little bit more here. Got a little tiny tangent there. Um, but uh, he's kind of a funny looking dude. And last but not least, I, I took it even farther and tried to make it into a completely silly goon. This guy, um, who's just sort of a goofy, like later comic strip thing, I was trying to uh, accentuate the hat more in this one because in the original, I think I was trying to draw a guy with a 10 to gallon hat. It's tricky on a tall skinny guy to do a 10 gallon hat, but uh, I, I tried to 
up there. I added color to them too. It was just sort of a last comment, the way that uh, color can really add validity to a uh, drawing. Uh, it never ceases to amaze me and impress me, and uh, I think it did here for all of these guys. Um, I didn't color the first one, but I, I colored the follow-ups. Um, here's this guy. Made him uh, bright red hair. So persnickety guy. But he made kind of a extreme uh, color choices on him. And then last but not least, this dopey guy. It's kind of unworkable legs and big boots. Uh, I decided to not uh, put spats on or chaps on this guy because uh, I wanted to make the boots bigger, but I'm not entirely sure it was successful. So there you go. Uh, that's the last uh, video I'll do on this particular character subject, but I'll hope to do some more and I'll dig up some other um, drawings from uh, a long time ago. Uh, I'm going to end this one. This guy in color. What's that guy? That guy turned out okay. So there we go. Thanks for watching. See you again.